Hi everybody, this is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday the 1st of May 2018. It's really nice to be with you today. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what the energy is about. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Wow, okay. So again, three reverse cards, which means that there's a major shift in the energy. Not surprising, it's the first day of the new month. So I'm going to turn these cards around and read them this way up, and then I'll turn them back around and read them the other way around. Ace of Cups is a gift from the universe, connecting you with spiritual messages, love, kindness, a sense of well-being, really feeling creative, full of love, wanting to nurture and care other people, having love for yourself and the planet, and having a wonderful connection with your higher self or a power that's greater than you, the creator, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, but you feel totally connected, you feel blissful, and you feel loving and kind and good. The Magician is about listening to your higher guidance, the universe, and then infinitely transforming that guidance into practical action which takes place here on planet Earth. So you're in a really good place emotionally, which allows you to create wonderful things in your life, which will lead to financial prosperity and abundance and being in a place of wealth where you don't have to worry about your financial circumstances anymore. Now, the reading is in reverse. So what this means this way around is a lack of discipline when it comes to um, your work means that you're not going to be particularly productive. But it also means that you have space and time to connect with spirituality the dove is kind of flying upwards now with the card in reverse so that you can actually fill the cup rather than have it run over because it's empty at the moment and it needs to be recharged by forming this relationship with spirit and maybe taking a break or enjoying yourself or um doing something to recharge your batteries you know whatever it is that gives you pleasure if if Rowing is the thing where you feel like, oh, I can relax, or it's horse riding, or it's tennis, or um, a yoga practice, or going shopping, or chatting on the phone with friends, or traveling, whatever it is that gives you a kind of boost and a sense of, okay, I'm having fun here, I'm recharging myself, I'm um, taking a time out. So really, the cards are saying that um, yes, work is important and you are very diligent and conscientious, but um, at this point, on this day, it's not so important to work and to um, really be productive and disciplined and to innovate and to make things happen. What's more important is that you let yourself be guided by the universe in terms of what action you should be taking. And that's going to help you on this day to feel happier and in future as well, because it will put you closer to your guidance. And then once you've connected with spirit, the card turns around and that cup does become filled and the universe does meet you halfway. So if you put in the spiritual work, like doing a meditation practice or one of those activities I just mentioned, then the energy aligns with what you're doing and you're handed this cup, which is overflowing with love and kindness and happiness. So it's a great day to really turn things around How in if you're feeling negative or burnt out or um, overworked or tired or run down. You can really take this day to recharge and it's an amazing day where the energy is geared towards helping you and supporting you and recharging your batteries. So if you're able, I mean, if you have to go to work, then um, do the best you can, but then treat yourself to something in the evening, you know, like something that's just for you, something that you enjoy and that kind of 
soothes you and feeds you and nourishes you spiritually. That's what this is really about. So looking at this and the implications it has for May in general is that May is usually a very productive month because it's ruled by Taurus, which has to do with money and practical matters and um, physical connection. So to have the best May possible and to turn these two cards around in the sense that you can be a magician and make things happen to start new businesses, to begin new ventures, to go on trips, to travel, to make magic happen and also to become someone who is disciplined and skilled and who's honing their skills and becoming better and better at something, uh, who's becoming an expert and working and creating prosperity and building a real life for themselves with wealth and houses and property and security, all of that kind of thing will be easier to achieve if you listen to your guidance and you let this cup run over with positive, loving feelings because when you exude that energy, it's much easier to follow up with these upright. So don't feel guilty if you do something for yourself today, if you indulge yourself. It's really important that you recharge your batteries now so that you can have an amazing and um, rewarding May. So start the, the month off with really being kind to yourself and nurturing yourself and making yourself feel important because you're going to be the one doing a lot of this work. So you do something for yourself that's kind and loving and supportive. Nine and one is 10. And another one is 11. 11 is the master number of service. So you can't help anyone else if you're not helping yourself. Charity begins at home. So today, the important thing is to be of service to yourself, to give yourself a break, to recharge and that's going to help you then be more productive in the long run. You know, if you're like on your last legs, it'll take you hours to do a little bit of work that would take you half an hour if you were well rested and um, have, had just come back from a two week holiday. So don't, you know, drag and drag and drag yourself on. Give yourself a break, relax, chill out and then get back to work when you feel ready and recharged. So it's a day of personal care and being kind to yourself and loving yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. And in the readings, my private readings, I use the tarot, astrology and numerology. I combine them all to give me a really in-depth overview of you as a spiritual being where you are on your journey, why you've come into this lifetime and what your purpose is, what vocationally you're meant to be doing, what's destined for you in the areas of love and finance and career, and also what's coming up in future in those areas. So when are finances going to pick up and when is the love of your life going to come in and all of those kind of questions I can answer in personal readings by looking at your details. So if you're interested in that, then do visit the website. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.